it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 13th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Weather not too scary around here today. Mostly sunny sky. Temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages. We will see some clouds coming in by this afternoon, but that's not going to amount to anything. The big news we have is the annular eclipse tomorrow. And in Phoenix, we'll see about 85% of the sun obscured by the moon. And that'll be tomorrow morning starting at 8, 11 a.m. and peaking about 9.30 a.m. And the weather should cooperate with that. Sunny sky, of course, don't stare at the sun. But other than that, it should be absolutely delightful weather for that. Temperatures will unfortunately be warming up, however. And we will see highs getting up toward the triple digits once more by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And remaining above average likely for at least the next 10 days really probably to close out most of the rest of the month. All right, we'll get into all of that and everything else in just a moment. But first, it's Friday, so that means it's Photo Friday here, and that's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. First up, David Parnell, high school sports ongoing, except this time it's at Newell Junior High, I guess, moved from where it was supposed to be. And so... There's that, but a lovely day for high school sports last weekend, albeit hot. There were some clouds around. Then a few pictures from Joe up in Maine. Of course, the seasons are changing. The trees, oh yeah, the fall colors, they are out. And on top of that, he also submitted a painting that he did of the scenery as well. So you can kind of take a look at that. So not only some photos, but some artistic flair from Joe. We really, really do appreciate that. Uh, then this is up in New River. This is from Ted. Remember, we had a few showers up in the north and east parts of the valley earlier this week. And so that's what this is. A couple of sprinkles coming down there around sunrise up in New River. And last but certainly not least, Chris Martin. That, my friends, is a robber fly atop his truck at his cabin in Ash Fork. The backdrop of some clouds there. And so always exciting to take a look at the wonders of nature in action up there in central Arizona. So that's Photo Friday. You want to submit your photos and or videos, you can do so. Show at gmail.com is the email address. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, checking the almanac from yesterday, 91 degrees the afternoon high, 69 the morning low, and that's pretty much in line with where we ought to be for this time of year. 91 and 67 are those averages. Looking outside right now, here at 7.36 a.m., we've got mostly sunny sky, and we're sitting at 68 degrees at Sky Harbor, but the air is dry. Look at that dew point at 23, relative humidity 18%, winds light barometer rising. Upper level weather pattern across the nation features a rather prominent low across the nation's midsection. And that is continuing to move eastward. Of course, we've had some snow on the back side of that feature across Montana, Wyoming, the Rockies, of Colorado, and some decent rain and cool temperatures out across the Plain states. That's also helped pull down some cooler air into Arizona. We had freeze warnings across the northern part of the state today or this morning. You can see that on the watch warning map. Those will uh, expire here at about 8 a.m. Uh, and again, some uh, wind advisories to parts of the West, winter weather, winter storm warnings for parts of Wyoming. So, yes, fall is in the air and the seasons are indeed a change. And although you wouldn't know it if you stepped outside the door here in Phoenix, that's for sure. Here's the convective outlook. We do have a marginal risk of severe storms today in a triangle there for parts of Iowa. Missouri and Illinois. 
And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Friday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, nothing. Regionwide, nothing. Why? Because the storm track is just going to stay to the north of us. This weather pattern just not changing much. And I know people are saying, ah, this El Nino is a bust. Well, El Nino really hasn't kicked in for us. And we don't really expect to feel the effects of El Nino until sometime during the winter, December, January, February. So this is kind of what we expect to see so far. We'll see if it changes, though, as we get to the models right now. Take a look. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that low moving across uh, the central and northern plain states, moving toward the Great Lakes. Rather broad troughing across much of Alaska, all the way down into the Gulf of Alaska, the northeast Pacific, and just off the west coast, and a dry west-northwesterly flow for us. So what it means down at the surface for today mostly sunny this morning. We'll see some increase in clouds by this afternoon, though. High temperatures today. Upper 80s, low 90s, rather similar to yesterday, except just with the introduction of some clouds. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, will clear out overnight with lows generally in the upper 50s to upper 60s. And then tomorrow for the annular eclipse. Now, if you want to actually see it in its true form, in its totality form, you'd have to go over toward northeast Arizona, right around the Four Corners or Albuquerque or down toward San Antonio and Corpus Christi, Austin, uh, or all the way up toward around Portland. Uh, that's where the path of the totality will be. However, here in Phoenix, again, we'll see about 85% of that beginning at 8.11 tomorrow morning, peaking just after 9.30 and wrapping up around 11. So weather should cooperate for that. Sunny sky highs tomorrow, low to mid 90s. And again, you will notice if you're just people that maybe don't know there's an eclipse going on, it will get noticeably dimmer uh, tomorrow morning, especially after about nine o'clock, I mean, you will notice a lot less illumination outside. All right, Sunday, we're sunny, we're dry, we have high temperatures, eh, mid 90s to about 100 degrees. Yes, more triple digits on the way. The latest we've ever had a high temperature at or above 100 here in Phoenix is October the 27th, and uh, our forecast is not going all the way out that far, but. Yeah, it sure looks like we're going to stay above average for quite some time. Monday, highs upper 90s to about 102. The sky's sunny, the air dry, and we've got some guidance that even indicates we could be hotter than that. So we're going to be challenging some record highs across the region, that's for sure. Tuesday, more of the same. Sunny, hot, highs 96 to 100 or so. And even as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, high temperatures will back off a couple of degrees, but we're still solidly in the mid to perhaps upper 90s and you can see some rain across texas and moving into the southern plain states that is another trough that's going to dive down across the rockies and into the plain states going to ride over the top of this big ridge that's just blocking any meaningful weather from coming into our region so that's going to continue for some time we see that as we go out to a week from today this is friday the 20th rather impressive upper low moving into the southeast u.s we've got our big ridge here Note there is a little wave well to the west of us. We'll watch that feature. The GFS has kind of picked up on that the last couple of runs. As we go out 10 days, this is Sunday the 22nd. And that little wave approaches us if that materializes as advertised. Yes, <clears throat> it could bring in a shower or two. It could, certainly some increase in clouds, but boy, I, I just wouldn't count on that 10 days out. At this point, we'll continue with generally dry conditions and temperatures above average. Look at that upper low over the southeast U.S. Cool and wet weather, and that's an area of the country that could actually use some rain. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, as drought conditions have certainly developed across that area. It's been rather dry the last couple of months down there, so they'll take anything they can get. Of course, uh, this is generally a drier time of the year for much of the southern tier of the United States, particularly the southeast U.S., all right, looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 27th of October off the GFS Ensemble. And I'd love to tell you we're just going to get a soaker or some kind of big change in the weather pattern, but it just doesn't look like that. There's a few members that have some rain out there beyond 10 days, but that is out there in fantasy land. And the Ensemble mean, even at best, is still under a tenth of an inch. Temperatures off of the national blend of models. Highs warming up a bit by this weekend. Again, you can see Sunday, Monday, it's got 103 degrees here and still above 100. 
out there to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and beyond. Highs go back in the 90s, but that is still above average for mid to late October. And that is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here. I will have a video for you tomorrow morning to cover that eclipse weather. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If you really like what we do here and want to support us monetarily, we'd really appreciate that. You can always click that thanks icon below the video and make any donations that you are able to do so. Every dollar helps, so we really do appreciate that. <clears throat> the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, and recent recipient of laser eye surgery, LASIK eye surgery, and now doesn't need the contacts, doesn't need the glasses, and she can actually see me in my full glory and so, well, you'll notice she's run out of the room. Her vision is cleared up and she can really see all the details of your favorite weather guy. Anyway, I'm talking about my Michelle. Did I mention she's the proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona? If I didn't, and who knows, because I haven't had my coffee yet and I was up all night uh, after her surgery making sure that she was okay. Uh, yes, she is the proprietor of all that. I'm talking about my Michelle. So go ahead and check her out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please, please do be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there as it is still hot. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. <laughs>